everyone, this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles and today I'm showing you a very exciting special episode uh, because today I'll be wishing one of my all-time favorite, favorite, fantastical legends a very special happy birthday. And that is to Miss Legendary Billie Holiday. Today is April 7th, 2021 and today is Billie's birthday. And I decided to do a video dedicated to the vintage costume jewelry inspired by Miss Billie Holiday. Now, I couldn't do this video without getting the approval and visiting Miss Billie Holiday. And so I took a road trip, one of my first time taking a road trip on YouTube. And so I'm really excited in visiting Miss Billie Holiday. Come on and take a ride with me to visit Miss Billy Holiday and meet me right back here so I can show you vintage costume jewelry inspired by Miss Billy Holiday. Hi everyone, this is Jackie. I'm so excited today because I'm doing my first road trip. And this is a very, very special road trip because I've been meaning to do this for quite some time now since I moved uh, back into the city. And that is to visit Billie Holiday's burial site. Um, and because I decided to do this video on um, Finch's custom jewelry inspired by the legendary, the absolutely greatest jazz singer and blues singer that ever lived, Miss Billie Holiday. I can't tell you how excited I am. Come on with me and let's take this road trip um, and let's take a visit to one of our greatest legends that ever lived. Here we are at St. Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx and we're looking for Billie Holiday's gravesite. So hi, we're here at St. Raymond's a cemetery in the Bronx and um, according to what I believe Billie Holiday's graveside is right down this way. I'm a little nervous to see it. I'm actually nervous to just even be here. Um, I needed to pay a visit to her, pay my respects and let her know what an inspiration she's been to me and um, what better way to do that than to pay my respects to where she lays. So I think I see it down here, my glasses on. Uh, yes, I think I see it. Oh, oh. I don't know why, but I'm really emotional right now. Here it is. Wow. I'm here with a legend, and as you can see, There's a lot of people who feel the same way that I do because her tombstone is covered in gifts from people who cared a lot about her. And she's laid to rest next to her dear mother, Sadie, who was a huge influence in her life. And um, I see some fresh flowers here and um, I'm really honored to really be here. Whew. Who knew I would get this emotional? Wow. Here's Billy Holidays and flowers and a statue. There's even a beautiful cobalt blue pebbles and seashells that people left for her. I'm gonna pay my respects and leave her a little something too. I'm gonna leave her this beautiful, almost perfect stone and this heart to let her know that her music really inspired me. And um, wow, let's take a look. It ended up being a really beautiful day. I'll stay quiet for you to hear the birds couldn't have picked a more perfect day to see her. Here you go, Billy. And it's 
beautiful little heart. Beloved wife, Billie Holiday, known as Lady Day, born April 7th, 1915, died July 17th, 1959. Here lies the legendary Miss Billie Holiday, also known as Lady Day. St. Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx. It's a beautiful cemetery, but the cemetery to a lot of stars and famous people is more on the Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, because that was where the wealthy would travel to, uh, to their summer homes and they'd stop off and see some of their loved ones. So that's where you see a lot of the mausoleums and the beautiful, um, just incredible artwork. There's Tiffany's, um, the grounds are just immaculate. And most people say that that is where Billie Holiday should have been laid to rest. You have a lot of famous people buried there, especially the jazz and blues legends like Lionel Hampton, like Miles Davis, and of course the incomparable legendary Celia Cruz was buried there. And um, they felt that this gravesite here is not befitting of such a, an amazing uh, person and that she should have been buried with the legendary greats up at Woodlawn. And um, that's probably perhaps true. Um, in fact, there was many, many years that Billy's holiday didn't even have a grave marker. Um, and that's incredibly sad to hear that she um, died almost penniless. In fact, I believe I read somewhere that they found $750 in her stocking and that's all she had to her when she passed, which is unbelievable if it's just a true story. Um, one of her uh, biggest fans uh, felt that she needed at least a headstone and so they gathered up the money to purchase this headstone here and that's why she has this marker today. Um, which I just can't believe that that would be a true story. She should really is befitting of one of the mausoleums that are in Woodlawn um, Cemetery where all the other legendary greats where people go just to, to visit. But as you can see, she has a lot of people who come and visit her here and I'm here visiting her. So Billy, we love you. Your music has inspired me and I feel privileged to even be here um, Pay my respects and honor to such a legend. Um, I'm really moved. I'm really moved. Wow. Billy, her music, her songs, what she went through in life was inspirational to me. And her music inspires me. When I'm happy, I listen to her music. When I'm sad, I listen to her music. When I'm in love, I listen to her music. I just think that there's nobody greater or better than the legendary Miss Billie Holiday. And so to be here paying my respects to her is a dream come true for me. I get the pleasure of visiting her today um, and deservingly so because her music got me through some really, really, difficult times of my life and so I wanted to do this video specifically to her but I couldn't do it without giving her um, paying my respects to her so Billie Holiday I love you and I love your music and may you rest in eternal peace God bless you Billie's holiday career spanned from the late 1930s through the 1940s and into the early 50s but unfortunately she died on July 1959 at the age of 44 years old, which is such a short time to live. In that time, she produced some incredible music, music that really inspired me through the time I was a young girl, all throughout my whole entire life. And so I really wanted to do something special for her. This Billie Holiday wore pearls Many, many women wore pearls. And this is a beautiful, beautiful pearl set. Um, and it's kind of from the 1930s where they had the flappers used to have the long necklaces that wrapped around their necks and down their, their bodies. And she had her pearls wrapped around her neck. Now this is a large size pearl. This is a medium size pearl. And here is a delicate, seed pearl 
Um, and all of these types of necklaces, I can see any woman wearing today. Pearls are timeless. Pearls you can wear just about any decade, any season, and for any reason. So imagine pearls necklace like this draped around your neck. I just think this is fabulous. And Billy was a very, very stylish woman. She had incredible taste. She spent all her money basically on wearing fabulous clothes. And if you look at that new movie on Hulu, the United States versus Billie Holiday, you'll get to see some costumes that are just out of this world. Another similar necklace you'll see Billie Holiday wear is a necklace like this. It almost has that pearl effect, but this necklace has moonstones. And in this case, these are Aurora Borealis beads. Now, Aurora Borealis beads did not come into fashion until the 1955s through the Swarovski company. So this would have been used if she wore this necklace later in her life. One of the names that Billie Holiday went by is Lady Day, but her actual name was Eleonora Fagan. Um, and then she changed that to Billie Holiday, taking the name Billie, uh, a famous movie star, and her father's last name, who was a musician himself. And so she put out an album called Lady Sings the Blues. And if you saw it back in the 1972, uh, Diana Ross did a movie called Lady Sings the Blues with the incredible Billy D. Williams. I loved that movie so much. I thought that Diana Ross did an amazing job as Billie Holiday. I have my blue jewelry dedicated to the lady who sings the blues. This is a beautiful, incredible necklace. Um, and if you look at it, it appears as if this necklace was um, vintage, but it's actually purchased about a month ago, brand spanking new. This is from the J. Crew line. Another uh, theme that I saw Billie Holiday wear is this incredible rhinestone bracelets. And wouldn't it be gorgeous if she wore them in blue for the fact that she was a blues singer? Although she was a blues singer, she much rather have been categorized as a jazz singer. And jazz singers are known for singing songs how they feel. And Billie Holiday was totally a singer who sung from the heart. And she actually said that um, she never sang the same song the same way twice. So depending on the mood, depending on, on the instrumentation, depending on the atmosphere, Billie Holiday would sing that song in different ways. And so look at this blue earrings and bracelet set. I just think this is a totally beautiful set that I can see Miss Billie Holiday wearing. Just sad life that Billie Holiday had. Unfortunately, she was riddled with a lot of drugs and alcohol, which led to her death at the age of 44 of cirrhosis of the liver. Billie Holiday was known for wearing glamorous clothing. And if you saw some of the pictures that she uh, had on concerts, it was incredible. Um, she was a cabaret singer, and so she liked to sing in intimate environments where people were up close, and so she loved to look beautiful. And her favorite colors were known to be green, white, and black. And um, she also wore very unique and stylish uh, necklaces and jewelry. And this is a fringe necklace similar to the one that you see her wearing. And it's just an amazing piece. Um, it's a bold, and very much out there. Another uh, piece of jewelry that Billie Holiday loved to wear is big cocktail rings. These cocktail rings were very, very fashionable in the 1940s after the war. Many women loved to wear the cocktail rings in the 1940s, especially the citrine rings. The citrine rings, which are the yellow stones, and this one is a little bit more apple juice colored, and even this is more like a topaz, brown topaz. These stones were discovered in Brazil in the 40s, and so they were able to produce these large, big stone jewelry 
from these stones that they were um, excavating. And so that's why you see a lot of women wearing these cocktail rings um, in the late 40s. And there's a video that I have that's super popular. It's probably one of my number one videos and that's Vintage Custom uh, Cocktail Rings Collection, the gold. Check that video out, it seems to get a lot of, of, of attention. So here is cocktail rings that I can totally see Billie Holiday wear. One of the other pieces of jewelry that Billie Holiday wore also was charm bracelets. This one is a silver charm bracelet and it has different char types of charms that denote special times in people's lives. Charm bracelets were very, very popular after the 1940s, um, after World War II. The GIs came back home with their um, name tag bracelets, and so you see a lot of personalized name bracelets, and the name bracelets, and the name bracelets morphed into these uh, charm bracelets. And so it was a way to commemorate special occasions in people's life. Here's one in silver, and here is a special one in gold that has these big chunky charms that were very very popular in the late 1940s and early 50s and i can totally see billy holiday rocking one of these billy holiday loved diamonds she wore diamond necklaces diamond earrings diamond bracelets and diamond watch and here is a rhinestone encrusted watch that i can totally see billy holiday rock and in fact one of her watches came up for auction. It was a diamond uh, uh, encrusted watch, similar to this one. I wonder who the lucky buyer is because I would have given my left arm for one of Billie Holiday's pieces of jewelry. Now, you have to understand that Billie Holiday came from very humble means. And so to be able to purchase an amazing watch like this is like, like an unimaginable feat, I'm sure. And she was a tough woman. She was a woman that was playing music in a man's world. But not only in a man's world, she was playing it in a white man's world. And so as a black female artist, she went through a great deal of unfortunate adversities. If you look at both movies, Lady Sings the Blues and the recent Hulu picture of United States versus Billie Holiday, they talked about how she saw lynchings and that affected her deeply. So much so that she sang the song Strange Fruit, which led to her being investigated and pretty much harassed by the feds and which um, um, unfortunately led to her being incarcerated for a year and a day and also being arrested while she was sick, dying in the hospital, which is incredibly sad. Um, in addition, while she was on tour, she, even though she was the headline, she wasn't allowed to go through the front door of some of these establishments, even establishments here in New York, which is known for being a little bit more open-minded. Uh, there was a great deal of prejudice that happened. And while her counterparts slept in comfortable beds and hotels, she unfortunately had to sleep in the back seat of her van. Imagine this amazing, incredible singer headlining, not able to even, you know, sleep in a comfortable bed at night. She would also put, you know, extra hamburgers in her purses because she never knew if she was allowed to eat in certain places. And so these were some of the adversities and atrocities that Billie Holiday had to endure to pave the way for many, many musicians today. And this is why I feel that although there's a lot of controversy surrounding her, I don't judge her. Her to purchase diamond watches and diamond bracelets is an incredible feat. And then unfortunately, one of the stories is that when she passed away, she had only $750 in her stocking. How incredibly sad is that? And something that really is undeserving. In addition to some of this diamond jewelry, she also fitted her door with rhinestone encrusted uh, collars. So she made sure that <laughs> the loves of her life, which were her pets, 
um, were also well taken care of. Billie's holiday spanned several different decades. And because of that, she had influences in her jewelry in different decades. And so here she is wearing an amazing necklace that's more art deco in feel. This is a beautiful emerald shaped rhinestone necklace that she would be so happy to wear. And this comes with the matching bracelet in two different rhinestones. I threw in this green deco inspired bracelet for good measure because Billie Holiday's favorite color was green. Billie Holiday's favorite color was green. I pulled out this amazing green emerald and rhinestone cabochon necklace by Kramer. This is a vintage necklace. And as you can see in this incredible, beautiful picture of Billie Holiday wearing an emerald green necklace, more art deco, but this is more 1950s, but still, I'm sure she would approve of wearing this. The matching bracelet, um, and I can totally see her wearing this beautiful emerald necklace with this matching emerald uh, bracelet. And I could also see her pulling off this brooch. She didn't wear a lot of brooches, but when she did, she was be one, wear one that's fit for a queen. And with this one with its tiara shape, I'm sure she would have approved wearing this. A little bit about what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing on my head is Victory Rose. Victory Rose were very, very popular after World War II. Billie Holiday is mostly well known for wearing gardenias in her hair. In tribute, of Miss Fabulous Billie Holiday. I put some uh, flowers up in my hair as well. And I decided to wear this bright green, um, this is a jade necklace in homage to her. And this is a 1950s-ish uh, dress that I decided to wear in tribute to my favorite all-time singer, Miss Billie Holiday. I just am so excited that I was able to wear this outfit today. Last but not least, I want to cover some of the earrings that Miss Billie Holiday wore. And Billie Holiday wore more earrings than she wore any other piece of jewelry based on the pictures that I've seen. 1950s, clip back earrings were all the rage with matching necklaces. Here is another big set of earrings. And this one is not marked. So I don't know if it's a designer or not because a lot of times the the, the um, designer jewelry, either the necklace was marked and not the earrings or the earrings were marked and not the necklace. If you did not have the complete set, you wouldn't know that it's part of a designer uh, suite. So these look to me like designer earrings and I can totally see Miss Billie Holiday wearing this red earrings. She loved to wear the color red as well. Here is another stud that I just think are stunning. I can totally see Miss Billie Holiday singing on stage or even on Carnegie Hall, which she sold out not once, but twice. Um, she would wear this these earrings um, to her Carnegie Hall concert. But the earrings that I love more than anything, unfortunately, I went online looking for the earrings and I could not find it. But I happened to have something somewhat similar, not exact, but close enough. And they are the African lady face earrings. Oh my gosh. I want me a pair of those desperately and I'm on the hunt for them. If anybody knows who's selling them, please let me know. And if you look at the movie on Hulu, um, Andrea Day is wearing a pair of the African earrings that I'm talking about. And this is my version of it. These are not ladies, but these are African men and they're wearing earrings just like her African lady. And so I think that perhaps maybe she would even get a kick out of wearing these because I know I do. One of the last earrings I'm going to show you is these clip-on earrings. These are quintessential 1950s earrings and you could wear these even to today they are just fantastic fantastic earrings so that my friends is my tribute to miss billy holiday as you can see she means a whole lot to me i love her 
I love her music, and I'm so happy to have dedicated this video to her. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of mine. I am so excited to have put this video together. You guys are amazing with the comments. You're teaching me so much. You're giving me answers to some of the questions that I have. And uh, thank you for those people who have subscribed. My subscribership keeps increasing. It's not a whole lot, but every one of you count. And um, hit the notification button and hit me a like because the more likes that you put on there, the more people will get my um, video on their feed. So, so, mucho, mucho more. And to the incomparable Miss Lady Day, Billie Holiday, thank you for allowing me to honor you in this way. Thank you and goodbye.